headed to Stuttgart, Arkansas. It's the first week in March and uh, headed to Max Prairie Wings. Now, any of you waterfowl guys, you're probably real familiar with Max Prairie Wings. They got an unbelievable catalog. They're kind of known for duck hunting over in Stuttgart. Imagine that. Anyway, they have a real big turkey show this time of year and I'm headed over there. And gonna be with one of the legends, old Will Primos, who I started with back in the day. We're gonna do a seminar together. Well, we made it to Max. Anybody that's ever been here will recognize this. That's gotta be the world's largest duck statue. But they are having a turkey event here. I see the banner on the front door. It says, Mossy Oak Obsession, now the official camo. What's up? Always working. Look at here. Look, look, first people I see. <laughs> Will Primos up, and his lovely wife, Mary. <laughs> Say hey to you two. What are you doing? Coming out here to see you. Holy cow. How are you doing? I'm terrific. Good deal. That's the first people I saw, Will and Mary Primos. I told you he would be here. Part of coming to Max doing their turkey thing is they have their NWTF banquet at the same time. This makes like my 5,000th. We're here with Norman Sneed. <laughs> Norman, I run into you all the time. Yes, you do. And we got a new guy with us. Tell me your name. Chris Alexander. Chris Alexander working with Game Keepers. We're going to roll up in here and eat some catfish, and I'm going to watch uh, Norman buy way too many raffle tickets. No, we're no. going to be here till midnight seeing if he want anything. We're going to put this one on cut. You too. What's that? Cuz 411? I believe I saw that the other day. Go on there and look, guys. Some pretty neat video and everything. All right, here we go. 275. We're gonna three. Yes, now 25. Back to you. We're gonna get a 325. We're gonna get a 325. Sir, we're gonna get a 325. 325. I hate to put you on the spot. 325. Here we get a 325. Sir, we're gonna get a 4. We're gonna get a 325. Here we get a 325. Gotta go. We're gonna get a 325. 325. Sold it right there. Well, we're done with the banquet. They raised a lot of money. We'll uh, we'll hit it up at Max in the morning and see how it does. They're gonna have a big event, so we'll uh, we'll get started at Max in the A.M. We did the NWTF banquet last night. We uh, I got Norman Sneed up here from Mossy Oak. This is his account, and today's his birthday. So uh, I don't think anybody else up here knows it. So I'm. Uh, I found a place in Stuttgart that has birthday cakes. We're gonna go in there and see if we can get Norman a birthday cake. Pretty familiar with this environment. I think I can pull it off. Is that my birthday cake? Okay. Norman, Norman that's it. Well, there it is. Thank you, ma'am. I'll pay for it if I can. I appreciate this. All right, I got Norman's birthday cake. Well, we got the birthday cake. We're at Max. We're gonna be here all day. Get to do a seminar with Will Primos, but uh, Max is a pretty cool place. I think I showed you the world's largest duck statue, but anyway, be here for the day. I'll let you know if anything cool's going on. I'm gonna try to film old Wilbur and me doing his seminar. He ain't done one in a while. He may be rusty. All right, the turkey thing ain't started yet. We're at Max. This is Jody Smith. Say hey to you too. How you doing? Jody's got one of the most unique things I've ever seen, and he's the guy that did it. I'm gonna try to show it to you and then ask him about it. That's a triple Robin Hood. I've never seen one. I saw it here last year and posted on Instagram. Tell me when that happened. What happened, Jody? Well, that was all an accident, but it happened in about the year 2000 at our old store. And what I was doing was tuning up a a bow and I went out there and I was sighting it in. I aimed at the bullseye, hit two inches low, shot my second arrow, hit two inches low, shot my third arrow and hit two inches low. When I got up there I realized three arrows stuck in the back of each other. Like I said it was all luck. I couldn't duplicate it. But the cool part is if you look at the the odd color fletching, they're perfectly lined up. So that meant the arrow spun the exact amount of times to get to the target. But it's something I'm proud of even though it was an accident. It's the only one I've ever seen, a triple Robin Hood. You don't see them every day. I've been in this business for 
30 years. I've been to 10,000 bow shops and tournaments. Never seen that. So anyway, thanks for sharing that with us, Joe. Yeah, thank you. We're going uh, to see what else we can get into here at Max. That's the coolest thing ever. Holy moly. Now, what is that? That is the original truth. This is the truth, truth one. 19, it was, it was, we released it in 87. Good <laughs> God. <laughs> hair was dark. God, you got some cheeks. I know, that's bad. You got some dark hair, too. Yeah. Did you know it would be that impactful when you had the idea? No. I didn't know it'd be that impactful right now. I almost <laughs> bring it to tears. We and I are about to do a seminar together. We hadn't done one of these in how long? 30 years? No, we've done a few since yeah, then. The main been, ones we were 30 years ago. We hadn't done many, but anyway, we're fixing to do it again. We're going to call too much and call too long. Of course. All right. <laughs> how y'all doing? We're good. Say well, hey to YouTube for me. There we go. <laughs> Will's the first guy I ever saw that call turkeys like he did. He's also the first guy I ever saw <laughs> used a tube call. He and Toxie both were very innovative and way, way ahead of their time. We're gonna show you some video right now. And the video's horrible, but you gotta remember back in 87, 88, this stuff was epic. And I had to go find a player, didn't even, nobody had a player. You had to play it mainly in the camera. So finally I got Cuz to come see me because I couldn't view the dang thing. He came to see me and we watched it on camera. He videoed a hunt, a turkey hunt. Back then, I got paid to film wild turkeys getting shot. I didn't, I, I wasn't working for Discovery Channel to film them at 100. I got paid to film turkey hunts and ended up doing whatever I needed to do to get them turkeys in front of the camera. I'd hunt the same way today that I did when I met Wilbur, mainly starting with that two call and being a little aggressive when called for. Time we took all, the all right, Will and I just did our seminar here at Max. <coughs> and tell me what again, what's your name? Ron. I've been listening to Turkey Sounds for the last 90 days, different places and all that. He pulled out this homemade turkey call, and I want you to listen to it. That's as turkey as it gets. Show it to me. Let me see that thing. And tell me a little bit about it. Well, I bought this from a fella named uh, Sam Oliver back in the early 70s, and I've carried it and used it, and, and uh, I use it as a close-range call mostly. Yeah. I, I, um, closing um, the deal. Uh, yeah, closing the deal, especially whenever I've got one in the afternoon that's uh, that's a little bit skittish or something, yeah. or if they've been called to very much. And that carries through the woods real well. You're well. sucking in on that. I'm you sucking, sucking in. Like can, a wing bone. Uh huh. Yeah. You can yelp on it too. That's and, so um, hard to do. Um, but uh, uh, especially use it for clucking and purring. And see, and I, I tell them all the time, you'll never meet the best turkey hunters there are out there. You think they're on TV or video? They're they're walking around Max Sporting Goods with a homemade turkey collar <laughs> in their pocket. And you're hoping, man, I hope he never makes it to my place. <laughs> That's awesome. I'd love to make it to some of these places. Yeah. I hunt public land, and so sometimes you got to be real subtle, and sometimes the, the louder stuff works, too. Yeah. I carry stuff for that, but I, I like to use this a lot. Hey, don't ever go turkey hunting with somebody on your place that sounds like that. That is poison. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Norman. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. That's, that's the only birthday cake, and the only time I'm going to hear that song, so I greatly appreciate it. Well, that's custom, custom made at the Mayflower. Just oh, my you. God. Thank you all very much. Only at Max. Only at Max. Well, that's about it for Max. Great seminar with Wilbur. Met a ton of people, signed some hats and all that. And now we're getting back to, uh, I'm gonna try to get home in time to go check the traps and uh, put my new little 12 foot giant boat in there and see if we can catch some fish. If I don't make it back in time today, we'll certainly do it tomorrow. But Max was hopping, that's all good.